In Philippians 4.12, Paul says, I have learned the secret of being filled and going hungry, both of having abundance and suffering need. I remember in 1992, my wife and I set off to work in the poorest country in Europe, Albania. We were filled with excitement and anticipation about what lay before us. We arrived and we quickly settled into our meager home and we busied ourselves with work and building relationships. Shortly after our arrival, winter came. We were unable to purchase heating fuel, so our home was cold. We endured frequent, lengthy power outages. We cooked on a small camping burner we had brought with us. Our daily bath was six two-cup scoops of warm water. Yet our lives were richly blessed. We could see God at work in our host country, and we enjoyed deep relationships with Albanians and expatriates. Often entertaining guests by candlelight and enjoying simple, sweet fellowship. Through the years, I have noticed a distinct relationship between contentment and expectations. We did not expect life to be any different than we found it during those early days in Albania. As a matter of fact, in many ways, it was easier than we had imagined. Our expectations for material comforts were low and our contentment was high. Oh, life was not easy, but our circumstances did not dictate our level of contentment. We learned that contentment is not found in having all you want, but in wanting what you have. We also learned another truth. Contentment is a byproduct of a faithful relationship with Christ. Oh, I wish I could tell you that I have lived the rest of my life in light of the things I learned in Albania. But I have discovered that I am not naturally content. My human nature always is striving for more. And that is why I love what Paul writes in Philippians 4. He too had to learn to be content, no matter what his circumstances. And he discovered that there was a secret to contentment. Contentment in our material circumstances whether we have little or much, can only come through the strength that God provides. May I pray? Lord, I confess that I so often strive for things that in the end do not bring contentment. I choose to learn from you and to draw on your strength. Teach me the secret of living contentedly. Amen.